example, we're asked to solve by graphing x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. The corresponding function is x squared plus x plus 1. Now, a equals 1 and b equals 1. Since a is positive, this is going to open upward. I'm going to start out by finding my vertex, which is negative b over 2a. So that is negative 1 over 2 times 1. That's negative 1 half. OK, so I have my vertex is negative 1 half. So I want to find f of negative 1 half equals negative 1 half squared minus 1 half plus 1. That's going to give me negative 1 half times negative 1 half is going to give me positive 1 fourth minus 1 half plus 1. That's going to give me 1 fourth minus 1 half is negative 1 fourth plus 1. 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Okay, so my vertex is negative 1 half, 3 fourths. That's approximately here. That's negative 1 half, and then 3 fourths is about here. Now, always before you go and find points and waste time, stop and think about the shape and generally what type of solutions you're going to have based on the shape of the parabola. I know that this opens upward. Therefore, my vertex is going to be a minimum value. So this is the smallest y is going to get. So this is going to curve up like this. And what I'm looking for are my x-intercepts, because those are my solutions, or solution. But here I can see this is never going to intersect with the x-axis. So no matter what values I find for x, y is never going to become 0. So an x-intercept will occur when y is 0, but the minimum value that I have for y is 3 fourths. The range is that y is going to be greater than or equal to 3 fourths. So since y is never going to become 0, this will never intersect with the x-axis, there are no real solutions. So in the last example, we found that there was one real solution because the vertex, the x-intercept, was, the, was the vertex. And again, I didn't have to waste time graphing out the whole parabola. Same here. So before you find a bunch of x and y values and get an exact graph, stop and think. Do I have one real solution, no real solutions, or two real solutions? And if you have one real solution, all you have to do is find the vertex. If you have no real solutions, you're done. If you have two real solutions, then of course you need to finish out your graph.